Hey guys, Pablo here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, the project that we're going to talk about is called iNary. Um, very soon after this video, I'm going to have a, an AMA session with the team or uh, actually I'm going to leave that for the future on who I do the AMA with. But we're going to head into the AMA as well where we, can, where we will be talking about details on this project and specifics about this project. So we're going to leave all the specifics to the AMA and I'm going to show you guys so you watch that at, like uh, whenever it is uploaded. Uh, I'm going to inform you guys wherever I can when it, it gets uploaded, when it is planned. But in this video, we're going to talk about all the deep, you know, basic details uh, on what Inary actually is and what makes it really amazing. Uh, this is basically uh, a decentralized data system. Uh, actually, I'm just going to head over and talk about, you know, start talking about details because I know when I start, I'm not, I'll, it'll be difficult for me to stop. So I'm just going to start after I you know, place the disclaimer that I think I say it's not going to be an investment or a financial advice. So all of it do your own investigation and research. And now, without any further delay, let's get into it. Now here we are at the official website of Inary. Uh, it says Inary Decentralized Data System, uh, which is um, a lot of people will be, I'm, I'm sure, can be can be confused about this. But if you have been in crypto, if you know why crypto became popular, it's not going to be something difficult for you to understand. Uh, the whole concept of Web3 is having rights to your own information on your own identity uh, a lot of the problems that we have in the web 2 platform that are centralized is that they misuse people's data uh, or information and use those to benefit they use them to make money to grow themselves so it's like it's your information but someone else is profiting off of your information evading your privacy and while they benefit uh, if you take a look at what Facebook is doing and they have they have been sued by different people in different organizations from time to time and they have to show up in different hearings uh, on based on this thing is that they the users don't even know when Facebook or other Web2 platforms are taking information and what kind of information are they taking. They could be using a microphone to hear what you're saying or they could be spying on you uh, on your screen what you're watching and they will be using all this information to uh, check your preferences on what your preferences and then they'll give you targeted ads on what they think you might like or what you might buy because currently this is the era that we're living in. And I, I, I mean it it makes sense why they would do this and in a sense it also benefits people because they get what they want but it is evasion of privacy a lot of people are troubled with the fact that these organizations are keeping a track on their actions like there there's this whole life that we have like a real life and now there's a whole digital life that we have and just think about this there's always someone stalking you in your digital life and uh, I mean, it just, uh, I think you can understand uh, how bizarre sometimes it may feel. So there's a lot of the things that you cannot trust the Web2 platforms with. So for this, you need more solutions. You need a place where you can be assured that your information is not being used, is not being exploited. Your identity is not being exploited by someone who's profiting off of your identity information. So web3 and crypto and blockchain all together this is what they offered and this is what makes them really revolutionary and this is kind of something that made them enemy of the web2 so in this one what we have inary is a layer one blockchain it's not layer two it's not like it's, it is created on another blockchain uh it is actually a layer one blockchain that is designed to offer the solution of decentralized database management decentralized that means it's not there's no one in sitting in the center who can have access to this data uh, and it's not like it is stored in a you know uh, in a specific place or a specific server so that it can be if that server gets hacked then the data is eventually lost or it is in the hands of the hacker uh, so they this is what this whole platform is about to keep you know uh, the data safe it provides storage for the data and it allows proper management in a decentralized manner with maximum security that can be offered anywhere 
and it says it is with the vision to enable a new paradigm of for data it lays the foundation for web3 by seamlessly connecting with systems application and layer one networks so um inary db which is short for inary database management uh, solution uh, it says it integrates blockchain functionalities with distributed database management properties it is built on decentralized infrastructure inary db supports high throughput uh, low latency complex query search and owner controlled data assets now uh, we have talked about this thing before i think there's like two things that i want to mention because one of the things that we mentioned when we review projects is, is what potential that this you know particular project hold or this particular initiative have and to determine the potential we need to know if it is offering something that people actually want uh, and uh, are they able to provide that to people uh, or not if they're pro if they're able to provide what people actually want and they, that is something that is not being offered by anywhere else or it is not being offered better than anywhere anywhere else then uh, you can for sure say that it is going to get adopted and this whole problem of web 2 applications snatching your data stealing your privacy and using your data to make money this is a global issue and it has reached global recognition by users so this is something that bothers a lot of people and uh, by this you can tell there is a demand for uh, a service like this that does not exploit their data and so forth so we can for sure tell that this is something that people actually want and uh, now since it is a whole different blockchain we're not talking about a particular project we're talking about a whole particular you know different blockchain that means they have every you know control over how they develop things and they can develop it in a manner to make it truly and completely decentralized so that this whole problem can just simply go away so we know that they have the solution for what people you know for the problem that people are facing which is again really amazing now when we talk about blockchains um there's different things that you need to make sure in a blockchain it's, it's not it's not easy to make a blockchain um first of all it's it's thousands of dollars in investment and, and it is thousands of hours that are being put in collectively by the team by the experts by the developers by the programmers to actually create a blockchain uh, especially layer one i'm not talking about layer two here i'm talking about layer one when you're basically creating something from scratch it is absolutely just uh, there's like no words to explain this but it's really difficult uh it's thousands of dollars in investment and it's thousands of hours of investment uh, so there's a lot of effort a lot of dedication that is being put into blockchain so it is way more serious than a project a project can just like start it can fall like it doesn't really impact that much but a blockchain is, is a super serious thing so uh and when you create it you need to make sure that you create it better than anyone else you offer it you offer something that is you know better uh, all these blockchains that we have right now solana uh, avalanche uh, they all offer something that is not being offered before um, when we talk about uh, bind smart chain it offered lower gas fees uh, which was something that was missing in the ethereum so and we have three different things in which we need a balance in order to create a good blockchain uh, we need to have decentralization we need to have scalability and we need to have security and we need to keep a balance because if there's if it's not balanced then one of things can get compromised and that's what we do not need so if you talk about the mechanisms uh, or the features uh, that uh, inary db uh, has in comparison to other management solutions that we have uh, in inary these are the other things that we, other competitors that we have uh, we have immutability uh, it is powered by their own uh, inary's blockchain so we know that they have a control over what they do uh, multiple database support it is decentralized uh, it is fast multi index tables so it is faster than any other uh, you know management solutions or management com data management companies that we have uh front end web ggui i actually have no idea about this i'm not a programmer or developer um and then we have program languages adapted and you can see in all these this one definitely surpasses all the other competitors right here of course this is open to debate uh, um, because this is on their website so you don't have to believe on what they have to say you can confirm it by yourself uh so yeah i this is what i say make sure that you always do your own investigation research and um check all the facts don't believe on people's words so now these are the features that we have that make sure 
uh, the data management is done in a secure and a decentralized manner. So the blockchain, it is scalable. So this is what we're talking about, that you need to have scalability in a blockchain. Uh, layer 1 blockchain solution built to facilitate scalable application meeting enterprise needs. Uh, stable resistant defense against civil attacks by using the proof of stake consensus mechanism, which is, um, I would say, better in a sense because it's more environmental friendly. Uh, and we know that it has defense against, you know, these kind of uh, attacks. Energy efficient, which is what I just mentioned. If it's proof of stake consensus mechanism, that means there's nothing being mined. There's no hardware that is taking place. There's no energy that is actually being consumed and putting adverse effect on the climate. So it is energy efficient. And then uh, low cost uh, and uh, higher transaction speed and scalability ensures low transaction processing cost. So this is really amazing. Uh, temper resistant and high speed. I think we already have to mention this. These are the key features. So it has cross-chain compatibility, which is one of the most important things. Uh, it is environmentally sustainable, which occurs the other proof of stake and mechanism, thanks to its invention. Uh, it is governed by DAO, so it's not governed by a particular team. It is actually governed by the people uh, who are part of the DAO. Uh, it has unparalleled speed. We have already have discussed almost like all these things right here. And I think we have covered all the essential information. Um, these are the use cases that we have. So you can see we have a lot of information which is difficult to be covered in just one brief video. But again, we're going to have a whole AMA session and there's going to be a lot of time that we have in this one. And we are going to cover almost all the information in this one. Um, I do have to say, if you have any question, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like, I haven't covered like, I guess even one person of what we have in this project. I just covered, I would say, just one person of what we have in INRA. But you have access to all the information on their website, on the social media, and so forth. So make sure that you come and you know, check the description, um, do your research and all that. And whatever question that you have, make sure that you put that in the comment section. And uh, I'll place it in the AMA and I'll get the answers by the team itself. So I think that's going to be really amazing. Uh, so make sure they do that. And yeah, this is all of you guys in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned. Disclaimer. Trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.